If you have an Amazon affiliate website where you do product reviews or you do blog posts where you showcase various products, then you know how important it is to have a product showcase table or a product comparison table. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a product showcase table or a product comparison table without using any paid plugin and without using any page builder. All you need is a free plugin that is Cadence Blocks. So if you are ready, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we create videos related to WordPress like this one. And if you love learning more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. All right, so you have an Amazon affiliate blog or a website where you do review post or maybe a product comparison posts and you want to have a product showcase table or maybe a product comparison table. So is it possible to create one without using any paid plugin? Then the answer is yes. You can just use free plugins like Cadence and you don't have to use any page builder. You can just use the native WordPress Gutenberg editor and you can create product showcase table like this one. So let's dive in and we'll see how we can create this product comparison table or product specification table using native Gutenberg editors with the help of Cadence blocks. So just to show you that if I go in my themes, I only have the Cadence themes installed. So as you can see, the Cadence theme is installed and active. And if I go in the plugin section, the only thing installed right now is the Cadence blocks. So that's the only plugin we are going to use to create this product showcase table. So let me just go back to this post and hit on edit post so that I can show you what I have done here. So now we are in the edit post. So as you can see that on the top, we have a row where we have the titles like image, product name, specifications and URL. Below that we have the images, product name and some bullet points with the button where people can just link it to the Amazon affiliate link. So once we click on this row, as if you go down in the breadcrumbs at the bottom, you can see that we have a main row. Under that we have a single section which is holding this complete structure. And under that section, we have added different rows like the row number one on the very top and the row number two just below it. And then we are just repeating this row to create our product table. So if you go ahead and check it in the mobile view, so right now it's also showing this uh, title section here in the front end we have disabled that so let me just go ahead and preview that in actual browser so here is the mobile version of this table so we have removed the main header of this table in the mobile form so here you can see that we have the image and we have all the rows just showing perfectly in mobile as well so, I mean, it's up to you. You can show that title in the middle and maybe just play around with this layout. So it's completely up to you. So now let me show you how you can recreate this table for yourself. So let me just show that in the same page here. So we will start by adding a row layout. And in this layout, we will select the single column, which will act as the main outside container of all these rows. So the reason I am adding this main row layout so that I can just save this whole container as a reusable block. So I can just take this table, use it as a reusable block on any of my blog posts. I do not have to create each and every row again and again. For example, if I need to save this as a reusable block, all I need to do is just go to the main row layout, like from the breadcrumbs at the bottom. As you can see, the whole structure is now selected. And then I can just add it to my reusable blocks and this complete structure will be a reusable block. So I don't have to create this table again and again. So once that is done, let's go and check the settings here. For a temporary purpose, I'm just adding a background to this so that we can have a clear view of what we are doing here. So after that, I'll add another row layout 
and this time we will add a four column layout so that we can create our first header if you want if you want to add one more column in this table you can go ahead and choose five column layout i generally prefer four column is more than enough to showcase these kind of tables so let's go ahead and do some settings here as well so now if we click on this we go ahead and change the background settings the background color will be from the color palette i'll choose this one i have already selected my color palette so i'm not going to cover how you can assign the color palette in cadence theme it's very easy i will link the tutorial in the i button above or leave the link in the description below for that tutorial so i'll select this color as a header and then we will add a advanced heading here so maybe i just go ahead and copy the text from here itself so we start typing we will change that to h4 and maybe the font size we will keep as 15 pixel once again we'll copy this text as well we'll choose advanced headings we'll paste that turn that into h4 font will be 15. now for the next one i'll copy this text and also i go ahead and copy the style as well so i'll click on this add an advanced heading paste it here and then i'll also paste the style so now we have the so now i don't have to do the size and the font adjustment again so let's go ahead and add the url as well so once again we just add the advanced heading and then paste the style and for this one we will align it to center all right so now the title row is done so let's go ahead and select our title row all right so this is our title row so let me just drag myself to the bottom corner so that you can see the settings here clearly so now let's go ahead and update this page and let's see if what we can see in the front end all right so now we can see that our title row is done so let's go ahead and add a new row all we need to do is just select anything in this row and from the breadcrumbs below i'm going to select the row layout and then i'm just going to duplicate this row and for this one i'm going to remove the background color let's make it maybe light orange and then we will change the color of the next row accordingly so let's remove this block and in this column we will add image so let's go to media library we will select the first image and this one is looking a little bit big so we will align it to center and from the settings on the right hand side we will choose 25 percent of the image dimension image size will be thumbnail that's perfectly fine in the product image we can go ahead and type in and in the specification let's go ahead and copy these points so i'll paste this one and in the settings i'll change the font size to 13 and instead of this url let's go ahead and add a button so i'll remove this block and in this column i'm going to add advanced button so i will add, add this advanced button and call it buy on amazon and then in the button settings i'll choose the button as themed so it turns it to a normal theme button but we will keep it as default and then i'll show you how you can do the customizations here so we will select text color as dark gray or maybe black background will be gradient and the gradient color will be in orange and the second one will be yellow and maybe we can play around with location here all 
All right. So there are a lot of options that you can play around with. So right now the font is looking a little bit big. So we go on the top and see the font size, if we can keep it to 13 pixel. And after that, we'll scroll all the way down and choose an Amazon icon. All right, right now it's showing on the right side. We will keep it on left. So once that is done, let's go ahead and change the hover design. Text will be white. All right, so that's all we need. So it's looking more like an Amazon button. So maybe we can click on bold. So here's the first row of our product showcase table. So to create a new row from this one, just click on anywhere and then select the row layout and just duplicate this one. So now we have the second row. And for this one, we will choose background as white so that we can add some contrast here. And instead of this image, we are going to choose a different image. Maybe this one. And then we will change the product name. The description I'm leaving as it is. The specification I am leaving as it is. You can go ahead and change that. And the button is already here. So I forgot to mention, you can go ahead and add the link on the button from the settings itself. So here is the option to add the URL. So you can go ahead and add any Amazon affiliate link here. So you can open that in a new tab, all the general settings that we normally see for a button. So now we have the second row of our product showcase table. So again, we go on this row and just select the row layout from the bottom breadcrumbs. And then we will duplicate this row and just click this down arrow so that it will be below the white one. And after that, we go ahead and click on this one, select the row and then duplicate once again and move it below the orange row. So that's how we can create some alternate color rows here. Alright, so now we go ahead and select our main container row layout, the complete uh, row box which is holding everything. So if we go to margin and padding, we remove top and bottom padding. So from the padding, we just go ahead and remove every padding. So our table will be containing the complete area of our main row layout. So we don't see any gap here. So now we go ahead and add a border to it. So the border color will be once again, according to our theme and the border width will be one pixel on all the sides. All right, let's click on update and let's see how it looks in the front end. We go ahead and refresh this page. So this was the table we were referring to. And if we scroll down, this is the table we have just created. So there is a difference in the Amazon button. I was just playing around with the gradient. So I think I forgot to resize the image of this one. So let's go ahead and click on this and change it to 25%. Again, we will select this green, scroll down 25%. All right, now it's done. Let's go ahead and verify that in mobile view as well. So we will click anywhere on this row and then we can go ahead and select any row layout and after that we will select the mobile view so here is our top section which we need to hide we go to so we click here and select the complete row from the breadcrumbs we scroll down to visibility settings and then we will hide this on mobile so after that, it, it might not work in the editor. So we need to check that in the front end. After that, we can see that all the other things are showing perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and click on update and move back to desktop view. And let's refresh the front end and let's see how it looks for mobile. So let me just give a little bit of text here. So let's go ahead and enter a paragraph or maybe an advanced heading here. We will update that. 
and let's see how it looks in the front end so now we have a text here to differentiate between other two tables so let's make it small to see how it looks for the mobile view and here is the first table if we scroll down here is our second table this is how it looks on mobile view so let's go back to our page editor we go ahead and select the main row from the breadcrumbs and then we will go ahead and select and add it to reusable blocks now we will name our block here so we name it so we will name it as comparison table block and then we will click on update we click on save so now we have this comparison table block and we have created a reusable block from this so now we can use this table anywhere on our website so let's go back in our wordpress dashboard we will add a new post and just type in maybe sample table and in the content area we will search for our reusable block so we will type in comparison table block so here we can see that our reusable block is very much available so we will click on that and boom our comparison table is now added to this post as well and now to edit content in this comparison table block all we need to do is just convert this reusable block into a regular block otherwise whatever content we update here will get updated in our reusable block so we go ahead and click here to convert that into a regular block and now we can go ahead and do any changes and update any image in this table and then use it in a new blog post or anywhere on our website so this is how easy it is to create these kind of product showcase table using free plugins like cadence blocks and i'm sure using this you will be able to create some amazing looking blog posts so if you want to download this exact reusable block, I will add the link of the JSON file in the description below. And just feel free to use that in any of your website, blog or any project. So if you want to see more WordPress tutorials like this, then make sure you like this video, share this video and subscribe to this channel. And do not miss to hit the notification bell for sure. So I'll see you in the next one.